Planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. I am doing some back-to-back -back filming because when I am in filming mode, it is so much easier to just keep going. So I just filmed a video on the Studio Bliss Co. Faithful Collection. My cloth and paper subscription arrived today, so I am going to film this unboxing. Not sure when this is going to go up. Um, today is Thursday. It will go up sometime in the next couple of days. Um, no, today is Wednesday. I wish today was Thursday because I'm off on Friday. And listen, if I don't know what day it is and I think it's Thursday, I will not go to work tomorrow. So I need to know what day it is. Today is Wednesday. Um, so I may put this video up on Friday. We'll see. But um, this is the February cloth and paper subscription. I received two. I have one for Half Letter, one for HP Mini, and then I also received the Pinspiration, which Cloth and Paper has mentioned um, in the last happy hour that they are going to be doing away with Pinspiration, I believe in April, and um, there will be like two pins or something like that with every box moving forward. Um, there's also going to be a price increase on the box. I don't know what that is. It sounds like um, if you were previously grandfathered in, that won't apply anymore, which I have one box where I am grandfathered in. Actually, my Pinspiration box I'm grandfathered in. So I, I don't know what the new price is going to be. That, that information hasn't come out yet. But if it's something that you're interested in, just be aware that that is something that is coming. Um, what I have started doing probably since around November of last year, I have a ton of uh, Lux bucks from cloth and paper. And so I always apply that now to my subscription to save. I usually apply a $20 and so that helps save. So I'm able to do both of these with the Pinspiration for under $80, which is such a good deal um, with the Lux bucks. And I also apply it to my Estite box. So that's just a little tip for you. If you are a cloth and paper shopper and you have Lux bucks, you can use them on your subscription. Okay, so we have two um, boxes. So we have two of these non-negotiable vegan leather pouches, which, y'all, these feel like butter. They feel so good. And this it looks like an off-white silvery thread that was used for the word non-negotiables. has the CP logo on the back. Um, so I actually think I'm going... I like the black because it doesn't show... If you get something on it, a mark or whatever, it doesn't show. I have to take a trip into the office impromptu tomorrow. So I think I'm going to put my planner inside of here. Um, okay, so in here we've got... Um, let's find our package of stuff. So here is our journaling cards and menu card and all that good stuff. Um... So let's see. We've got our photo strip bookmark. And it says with care. Got a circle around one item. Um, made for you 2024. It's blank on the back. So we have that. We've got our monthly reflection prompt card. And for the monthly reflection 2024, February 2024, the Ivy Lee method, and then the one step at a time card. Um, how can you bring in more balance is the prompt. And so we have that. Then we have... Our pop-up calendar. There is the April pop-up calendar. I like to use this in my wallet instead of as a pop-up card. Um, got our own member access card. And that has our info to access the member access section. Um, and then we have this Toi Mimi 
bookmark. I love a good bookmark. I need to read more. Um, you will always be too much of something for someone. Too big, too loud, too soft, too edgy. If you round out your edges, you lose your edge. Apologize for mistakes. Apologize for unintentionally hurting someone profusely. But don't apologize for being who you are. Danielle Laporte. And that statement repeats... So bear with me. So we have our photo photo strip bookmark that serves as a tangible reflection of the care and craftsmanship inherent in our brand, seamlessly connecting with the photo theme in the box. Its transparency and texture feel authentically emulate a real photo strip. The Toi Mimi bookmark, which is this one, explores the themes of self-confidence and self-worth, aptly titled in French and presented on a substantial eggshell paper Stock for a touch of elegance and resilience. Natalie, are you watching? Did I say that right? Toi, Mimi? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Um, okay, so then we have our, our Ivy Lee Method sticky note. So you list out your task. Ooh, I like this. So I used to do this thing. This was probably more than 10, even 20 years ago. Um, I'm dating myself. And it, it was like every night you'd list out your six most important things to do the next day. And I feel like the Ivy Lee method is a similar concept, but we'll read about it in a second. Um, so you list out a task and there's room for six of them, priority of it. And then I guess you check off whether it's done or not. And then there's a place up top for a date. Now, when I used to do it before, um, you did prioritize, but it wasn't called the Ivy Lee method. So I, I don't know. I, I, I want to say it was created by, I even had a planner for it. Um, and that's all it was is for that, those six tasks. Um, but it was, um, I believe the lady's name was Pamela Waldrop Shaw. It was, she was a Mary Kay uh, director or like top of Mary Kay. Um, and it was her, it was a business that she had on the side and she had these planners and it was a similar method and it worked really well for me. I don't know why I stopped doing it. Um, but it says you jot down six most important tasks for tomorrow, prioritize those six items. The next day you start with task one until done and repeat all unfinished tasks, go to the next list. I love this little pad, um, for, this instead of having it as an insert which I think we also got it as an insert I like this this is this is like really compact and perfect for on the go um so we have this and then we have our moments sticky note and this is a nostalgic charm with these sticky notes crafted to resemble printed photos encased in packaging embossed with a reminder to take a moment. This set of two features delightful hues and pimento and concrete adding a touch of style to your note taking experience. Y'all know I love some sticky notes. So um, we've got two three by three sticky note pads, concrete on the left, pimento on the right. Um, I'm always in search of some sticky notes. And I love that this is just in a little, um, encased in a little folder. These are their made in Japan sticky notes. So I'm sure that the um, stickiness is on point, which I love that. I love a good sticky note. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to look forward to using these. Love sticky notes. They're like my thing. Okay. Then we have, um, an, uh, it with the subscription box this month, the stationary box, um, we have some pens included. So I will save those when I do the pinspiration at the end as well. Next, we have our stencil and ruler. I am so excited about this. I'm not a big bullet journaler, but I like to have a ruler and when I want to draw a line, um, have it handy. I have the other little ones that we were able to get. I don't know if it came in a subscription box or not, but I keep it in my planner. I like that this is metal. 
Um, and I like that it has the little template for your circle or square. If you know me, you know I'm a lister. And I always am putting down like a checklist strip or using some sort of checklist strip. So I like the concept of not having to do a sticker for that. And let's see if I can get it open, y'all. And be able to draw my own. Um, I like to use clean color dots as well. Um, so this is just a different medium to me. So, and I like the packaging, although I can't get it out of the packaging. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna tear this packaging up. with us so the only thing about the metal is the fingerprints it, it definitely shows all the prints but I love how you have the ability to this is not a pen that was in the box um, you can draw your lines if you're a bullet journaler um, you can do a do your circles for your checklist. You can do your squares. I like all my stuff to be very uniform. So um, that's, you know, I have to slow down, take my time. That's the one thing for me to make it pretty. But I love this. I love this ruler. So um, elevate your planning experience with a minimalist, minimalistic design. Perfect for adding small finishing touches to your organizational endeavors. Strategically placed blank space in the layout offers an ideal canvas for matchstick and arrow page flags. Allowing you to personalize and streamline your planning process with ease. So I don't have any matchstick page flies handy, but I do have this little pad for the squares. Um, so you get the idea. You could stick those on there as well, um, but it should fit according to what's on the paper, the matchstick page flags also. Um, you could even put the page pins on here, all kinds of, like if you wanted to underline or highlight something in the book, um, you could have your page pins and keep those handy as well. So um, it's, got multiple uses which I like that concept the only downside is the fingerprints um, usually the fingerprints don't bother me but it's driving me nuts on here because there's so many of them um, okay then we have a new era dashboard and this is a fashion forward experience focused on curating a renewed version of yourself in 2024 embrace the latest trends without borders as the bottom text eloquently speaks in French, Italian, and Spanish, adding a touch of global sophistication to your style journey. So I'm not going to try to say all those words, but you've got your French, Italian, and Spanish at the bottom. And then you've got these different pictures. And I think Ashley had said she used, like, things from her own collection. Because, like, you've got some Chanel and things there, Prada. Um, but then you've got, like, the CP vanity. The vegan um, pouch and whatnot. Um, so that is the New Era dashboard. And then we have a set of Ivy Lee methods um, inserts. So this is half letter sized. And... Um, the Ivy Lee method inserts offer a customizable layout with a section title on the left and notes on the right. Additionally, six dedicated boxes are included to streamline the organization of your Ivy Lee tasks, seamlessly aligning with the accompanying notes on the right. And I will pull out so that you can see they usually give you a sample. So here is your example. You've got your six things that you need to do your six tasks, and then um, a place to write notes about each of those tasks. You could also use that as like if you need to further break the task down, um, that you could use that note space for that as well. So um, client meeting prep, had a great meeting with the client, feeling good about this project, and then um, write blog article for posting 
Um, I'll continue these tasks tomorrow. Excited about the progress I made today, and I'm feeling motivated to tackle tomorrow's priorities. So if you don't get it to it, you just move it to the next day. Um, the only sad thing about this is, like, you only get so many sheets. And so um, if this is a subscription box only you start to get into this method and then you're not able to get more of the inserts so hopefully this is one that gets brought to um the main site to be able to continue to purchase these so it looks like there are 15 sheets so enough for 30 days with front and back so that is the ivy lee method planner insert and so to recap, we have those inserts, the New Era Dashboard, the Toi Mimi uh, bookmark, the photo strip bookmark, the April um, pop-up card, the monthly reflection um, with the um, prompt for balance, the stencil ruler, gosh, this book this was packed. Um, you have your sticky notepads in concrete and pimento in this cute little folder. You have your Ivy Lee method um, sticky notes as well. And then um, we also have our member access card, which gets us exclusive content. And then you have your vegan pouch. And then there were two pins included in the stationary box and I'm going to pull out um so these are the pens I have in my other one so I've got two different ones here it's the same pen but cut co different colors and then I have my pinspiration pens as well and let me see if um so with the pinspiration also have a set of um, sticky notes in the oblong shape. I love these also. And this is ash. So you have one pad that is matte and one that is transparent. Ooh, I like these. I Last month we got Cortado, which is like my absolute favorite color. So I ordered an extra set. Love those. Um, and let me see if in here... Oh, no. It's stuck. If we have a list... There's usually a journaling prompt and a list of what the pens are, which is helpful because otherwise I'm going to make up names. So we have our Harmonia card um, a consistent orderly arrangement and the prompt is um, breaking down your task and organizing goals what challenges once achieved would give you the biggest confidence boost for me that would be getting my Shopify website up because me and Shopify we don't get along we're not friends here is our monthly card um, and then here is the uh, pen test sheet and it, then it has like the color um, swatch mood board. So we have ash, avant-garde, and pimento, and then these are my inspiration this month. So I am going to use this little sticky note pad, and I will give you the beats on this pen collection that we received this month. So we have the Keiko Green this one okay so the Keiko Green biodegradable gel ink pen black ink five millimeter and it's got like these little it's like a green with these little speckles in it um I like Keiko Green pens I recently did them in my own uh box so there's Keiko Green there's the info I don't know if you can read that but it's a five millimeter gel pen I just feel like Keiko greens are solid. It's not, 
The one thing I wish is that they were bolder, and it looks bolder on camera than it actually is, but it's it's a nice pin. Then we have um, a uni pin, uni zento pin, conical nib, black ink, and a 0.7 millimeter, and it's like in a coral color. So this is the uni zento 0.7, and this is nice and mold. It, I need another one of these. This is a good one. I usually try to stick with 0.5, but I like a 0.7 also. So that's a great one. I like how that writes. And then we have the M&G Carbon Neutral Highlighter, which mine is blue. I don't know if they are all blue, um, but I love the color. And that's a little bright, but I like a pop of color. That's pretty nice. And it didn't smear the ink. The, the Uni Zento coupled with this highlighter did not smear. And it uh, didn't, didn't, it's a little, 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 it's not super obvious on the Keiko, but it didn't seem to smear too much on there either. Y'all know I love blue, so this is a happy place for me. Love all of those. Okay, then in our subscription box, we also got a set of pins. And so you've got... It just says assorted pin set. So this one is a Deli, D-E-L-I, and it's a 0.5 millimeter. And, okay, so the way that this one works is, um, this I think may be erasable. That looks erasable at the top, but you push down here instead of at the top. And it looks like it's like a needle point. So this is a, this is not working. Okay, what is the trick? There we go. Okay, I had to warm up. So this is a deli, 0.5 millimeter and yeah, it's erasable. I'm not a fan of erasable pins. I don't know what it is. I just feel like a pen is meant to be permanent. And most of the time, I don't like how they write. This one, I actually don't mind how it writes, but I still don't love. I feel some kind of way about having being able to erase something that this pen is supposed to just stay there. But I do like, I'm, I'm not a friction person, but I like this Deli erasable. So that's kind of cool. We got an erasable pen. So we have that, and then we have this Morandi Live Color, no, Monami, not Morandi, Monami Live Color. This is a dual tip, and so you've got a thin line, which I like this color. It does not look exactly like what's here. It's more brown, more taupey. So... That is the Mona Me. I'm always loving a good highlighter. So let's look at the other set here. So this is going to be the same thing on the deli. Um, Petey's back. So it does take a sec to get going, but it's the same erasable. So you've got that. And then um, here is the other color on the... I'm so excited that I got two different colors. And this is like a... It looks red here, but it is like a deep brown. Um, almost burgundy, but more brownish. So that is all of the pens. So... That is this month's cloth and paper subscription box and pinspiration box. I love that we got um, pins with the subscription box this month as well. And I, I love that it's 
like a marker plus a a pen so it's like two different things there plus i got a highlighter and the inspiration and the, i love the uni zento um favorite thing is probably going to be the uni zento but i really like these mona Mies. they're nice and bold in color um my favorite thing and i'd love to know what your favorite thing is is definitely the ivy lee sticky notes because i like to be able to move things around and so with a little sticky notepad in a compact size i can easily move this from planner to planner um I'm a lister, and to be able to move my list around to whatever I'm currently using, that just works phenomenally for me. But this box is really good this month. I'm really excited about this box. I love these ash sticky notes. <laughs> I love these, um, the concrete and the pimento sticky notes. I love this ruler. I love the black pouch, and I love just the Ivy Lee method and that concept because I previously used it and I know it works well for me. I love that as well. So I am loving this box. Would love to know what your favorite thing is. Post that down below. If you receive this box, let me know um, what you're using and how you're using it. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new, please consider subscribing and I'll see you back here next time. Bye.